We're taking a live look now at Launchpad 39B along the Space Coast, where NASA's most powerful rocket ever built is another step closer to liftoff. Earlier today, teams retracted the crew access arm for Artemis 1, and tomorrow begins the 46-hour countdown. News 6's Troy Campbell is getting a preview of the historic rocket launch through the eyes of a retired astronaut. Um, you know, looking forward to seeing some some of my friends get to fly this rocket in the very near future. Newly retired NASA astronaut Doug Hurley saying following the success of his return to space in 2020, innovation and passion for the unknown has NASA and its many contracting partners making last minute preparations before Monday's launch window begins. I'm just so happy for them and excited for for the nation, for the globe to to be going back to the moon and then hopefully beyond to Mars in the not too distant future. NASA describes the Artemis One launch as a sort of opening act for several more launches to include humans once again walking on the moon and further down the road, Mars. Comparing the first Apollo missions, Lockheed Martin says some design aspects such as the shape of the rocket don't need to be changed. However, the technology on board is unmatched. The advances in all of the avionics, the navigation, the guidance, the flight computing is just um, monumental. I mean, if you can just imagine, you know, back in the 60s, N nobody even had a PC. Experts say Monday's launch may be visible for hundreds of thousands of Floridians and visitors. NASA also says Monday's launch will be the most powerful and possibly the loudest launch ever. In Orange County, Troy Campbell, Getting Results News 6.